So starting facing the, the, um, the low side of your chair, first things first, we're just gonna take it into some cat cows. So a little bit of movement through the spine. So hands on the chair, nice flat back, and then drop your belly, lift your chest. So just that nice arching of the back and then round your back, round your shoulders, and maybe you straighten your legs. I love to start with spinal movements just so that we make sure our nervous system is on board and then we just kind of really know where we're at. So as you start to do these cat and cows, just sort of notice, how are you feeling this morning? Did you get enough sleep? Did you eat a good breakfast? How's your body feeling? And then use that information to just approach your workout in a way that works best for your body. Cool, now for the next 20 seconds, if you like, just a little C-spine, so hug shoulder to hip, keeping that semi-flat back situation, but just now moving the spine in the other direction. 10 seconds left. And time, okay. We're gonna take it into a nice big up and overhead reach. So think big good morning stretch, hands to the chair, step back into a plank position, hold plank for just a second, just to kind of feel your abdominal muscles fire up and then step back in, reach up and overhead, think good morning stretch. So maybe your hips come forward slightly and then right back, hands to the chair, step back to your plank, come back in, rise up, hips come forward, hands back to the chair, and then just start to take this at your pace. As you do this nice supported plank on the chair, notice how are your shoulders feeling this morning? Twenty seconds left. And time, nicely done. Okay, now we're gonna take it into the last bit of movement of the spine. So you're gonna step one foot up onto the chair, plant your foot on the chair, rotate towards that leg. So we're moving the spine in that twisting position, step your foot on the chair, rotate towards the other leg. So we're just gonna alternate, take it nice and slow. This is still one of our warm up rounds, but we wanna get the spine moving a little bit. And then we just play around with that supported balance. So you're gonna notice where your balance is at this morning. Sometimes I find that on a carpet or on an extra cushiony surface that holding single leg balance can be challenging. So if you find that you're, when you're on your mat or on your rug, that your balance is a little bit off, then take care to either just step off your mat or use a wall or a chair, something to help support so that you hold balance, work on your strength without compromising it with that wobbly ankle situation that might come up when you're in that softer surface. Nice, we got 12 seconds left. And time, awesome job. Okay, turn around, spin your butt around, and we're just gonna take it right into some sit downs and stands up. So you're gonna sit your butt right to the edge of the chair and then rise right back up. So we're getting those big muscles moving right away. <clears throat> As you sit down, think butt back and then bend your knees. And you just wanna kind of let your butt barely touch the edge of the chair, just so you kind of feel that depth and then rise right back up. Now, if your legs are a little tired this morning, you might choose to sit down for a second and then come up. But we wanna keep that nice rhythm of movement here, getting those quadricep muscles nice and warm. Awesome, we're already halfway there. <clears throat> 10 seconds left. And time, awesome job. Okay, grab one single hand weight and I'll say maybe a three pounder or five pounder just depending on how your shoulders feel about holding weight in the shoulder area. We're gonna place one knee on, one hand on the chair. So the other arm is free to move, standing leg, 
has most of the work going on. And now we're gonna take it into a row. So we're just pulling the elbow up towards the ribs, like you're trying to scrape your elbow against your ribs and then lower back down with control. Try to keep a nice long spine and your gaze is down at the floor. Beautiful, you guys, nice work. Just keeping that nice steady rhythm, keep your abdominal muscles pulled in slightly so your low back feels supported. Cool, now today we do have our three speed rounds that are gonna go back to back again, just like we did on Monday. But just know if you're not in the mood for speed and you need to take it slow, you'll do the movement slower and more mindful. And then next week, we're gonna switch it up just a little bit. So just know we're not always gonna do the three minute rounds back to back, but today we are. So just keep that in mind as you're working, pace yourself so that you can sustain those three minutes if you wanna go for speed or go slow if you think speed's not for you this morning. Five seconds left. And time, nicely done. Okay, now we're gonna stick with that light hand weight, step your knee off the chair, but we're gonna place that hand back on the chair. And now we're gonna take it into a lifted position. Arm is gonna extend up and it's gonna be a little bit of a side crunch. So we're gonna pull knee and elbow together, reach the leg out, arm reaches up. Nice and slow and steady. There's a lot going on here. So take your time. You're working on standing leg balance, a little shoulder support. So the whole torso has to work to stabilize you in this position. And then there's a lot going on in that upper side body because we're crunching in and then reaching out. Beautiful, you guys, nice work. If the weight is too much, you always have the option to put the weight down because that can be a lot in the shoulder. But if it feels good to stay there with that weight, slow and steady, this is not one of our speed rounds. Twenty seconds left. You got this. And time. Woo! Nicely done. Okay, I'm gonna spin my chair over to the other side. But you're just gonna spin yourself around if you want to, and we're back over to that other side so we can do our row. So knee on the chair, hand on the chair, weight in the other arm, and we're rowing. Pull the elbow up towards the ribs, lower back down with control. We're keeping our abdomen pulled in slightly. So we keep the low back supported. Beautiful, you guys, nice work. Twenty seconds left, nice and slow and steady. And time, awesome job. Okay, now we're gonna take it into that single leg work. So standing on your single leg, hand on the chair, that leg lifts out to the side, arm reaches up, an option to take the weight off if it feels like it's just a little too much, but we're pulling the knee and elbow in for a little crunch through that side body and reaching it back out. Beautiful, slow and steady here. Yes, nice work, you guys. 20 seconds left. You got this. And time. Woo, beautiful job. Okay, 
lift up, shake everything out, move your chair and your weight slightly off your mat. So we want a little bit of space to work. So we're gonna be front end of the mat to the front of the mat, and it's gonna be our speed first speed run. So before I set the timer, we're gonna take a monster walk forward. So we're doing that zigzag walk. And then once you come to the front end of your mat, you're running all the way backwards. If speed's not for you, you're just gonna take a slow mindful pace. But if speed for you is this morning, here we go. The timer is on fast as you can. A nice slow squatted position as you monster walk yourself forward and then jog backwards. And we're tuning in here to just see if we can jog backwards without looking to the end of our mat. So we're playing around with our proprioception. Where are you connected to the space that you're working in? Nice work, you guys, yes! Ten seconds left. You got this. And time. Awesome job. Okay, now we're going to grab our chair, spin it around so that we have access to the tall side. But this is another speed round. So 30 seconds one leg, 30 seconds the other leg. We're using the chair just for a little extra bit of support. We're going to keep a bent knee position. 30 seconds, just lifting and lowering that leg fast as you can. If speed's not for you this morning, you're gonna take it slow and mindful. But if you can, fire away, get those glutes burning. This one's for Liz, working those side glutes, those gluteus medius and that gluteus minimus. So nice and fast. You got 10 seconds left on this leg. All right, and time, switch over to the other leg. Bent knee position, lift and lower as fast as you can. If you're not working for speed this morning, slow and steady and mindful. And you might even choose to hold it in that lifted position, give a little pause and then bring it back in. But if you're going for speed, we got 15 seconds left. You got this. and time set that leg down okay last minute of speed so a nice wide position with your legs it's going to be an overhead reach touch the ground so we're going to think but back bend your knees and we're going for speed we got one minute on the clock here we go if you are not working for speed this morning you can choose to load this up grab some weights work on that slow overhead press and focus on that squat and either way if you're going for speed or not we just want to check those inner thighs, make sure they're actively drawing towards the pinky toes or your knees are drawing towards the pinky toes. So we keep the inner thighs engaged the whole time we're working. Beautiful, you guys, nice speed. And time, nicely done. Okay, grab two hand weights. We're gonna come down into a tabletop position. And if you're just getting yourself set up, flip your chair around so that you'll have access to the low side of your chair when you come down onto the ground. Grabbing your two hand weights, we're gonna take it into a tabletop position. You're gonna set your hand weights up so that they're accessible to your arms. In your tabletop position, you're gonna step one foot out, lift up, give a bicep curl with both weights, weights back down to the ground, step that foot back, other side, step up, lift your chest, bicep curl, back down to the ground. We got one minute on the clock. You're working this at your pace. Make sure that you have plenty of room to swing that leg out and up so it finds that 90-90 lunge position. Lift your chest, bicep curl, back down to the ground. You got it, nice work.
beautiful form. You guys, man, you guys look amazing. Nice job. Okay, now I'm gonna spin sideways just so you can see my setup. But now we're gonna take one knee down, one leg out to the side. Loaded or not loaded, that's gonna be totally up to you. My advice, hands behind the head. You're pushing your head into your hands, hands into your head so you get that little bit of resistance. And then we're leaning away from the extended leg. So we're keeping the head pressed into the hands, engaging those oblique muscles, muscles in the side of the belly, leaning out just as far as you can control, coming back up with that same amount of control. Focus on that head pushing into the hands and the hands pushing into the head so that you can keep that nice spine or a nice good posture, right? So we're not rounding as we bend. We're just working through the side body. Beautiful, man, you guys look awesome. Nice work. Ten seconds left on this side. And time. Awesome job. Okay, switching legs. So step that foot in, pause in your high kneel, make sure everything feels good. And then we're just taking it right to the other side. So leg is going to extend out, load up with your weights or hands behind the head. But away we go. Pushing your head into your hands, hands into the head. So we maintain that good posture. And then you're just leaning out as far as you can control. And time, awesome job. Okay, step that foot in. Now we're gonna come into a sideline position with some bent knees. Think of our Pilates hot potato, but now this is gonna be a bent knee version. So elbow and forearm on the ground, you're gonna keep your shoulder nice and engaged and supported. Grab a single hand weight, and we're gonna rest the hand weight nice and close to the end of the knee, but your hand's just gonna hold that weight in place. And now we're gonna start to toe tap forward, toe tap back, and we're gonna keep that leg lifted the whole time. Loading up at the knee is the most work. If you feel like that's just a little much, you'll move it in just a little bit, but keep that side leg loaded. If the weight altogether is just too much, leave the weight off, but we just wanna hop that foot forward, hop that foot back, keeping the leg lifted the whole time. So your toe just touches the ground and then it hops right back. And then we wanna try and find a little bit of stability in the upper body. So there will be some movement, but can you keep your shoulders fairly stable so your upper body's not wobbling all over the place? Nice work. 20 seconds left, you got this. And time, awesome job. Okay, now before we flip over to the other side, we're rolling onto our back. We're gonna place our legs up on the side, low side of the chair so that you have access to the edge of the chair. Your heels are gonna be on the chair and then we're gonna get our hamstrings firing up. So you're gonna push into your heels. Think hip bridge, but you don't really have to go that high because once you push into your heels, if you feel the backs of your legs firing up, you're there, you've got the work lower back down with control. If it helps you to find or feel it, bring your hands to the backs of your thighs, push into your heels, lift your butt up away from the ground, and hopefully you'll feel those muscles behind your hands firing up. And then once you touch down, 
let them relax. Push into your heels, lift up, lower back down, relax the muscles. Find a steady and even pace, but we really, really, really just wanna find that firing up those muscles. So even if it just means you do two or three super slow so that you tune in and feel those muscles working, that's awesome. and time beautiful job okay now we're going to flip over to the other side and get those hot potatoes with the bent knee position so spin yourself around i'm going to flip around so i can still stay facing the camera knees are bent elbow on the ground shoulder stays nice and stable we load up nice and close to the knee if we can and then we're just picking that leg up and hopping it over so toe touches in front toe touches in back but we never set that leg down if we can help it if it's too much with the weights either move it further towards your hip or leave the weight off altogether. Nice work, you guys, beautiful form. Twenty seconds left. And time, nice job. Okay, set that weight off to the side. We're spinning back onto our back, but now we're gonna take it into some a butterfly position, some butterfly hip bridges. So soles of the feet together, knees out to the left and to the right. Once you've got your legs in position, you choose your own adventure with your hands. So you might choose to load up some weights at the hip points, or you might choose to leave your elbows on the ground, use them for a little bit of leverage. But we're gonna squeeze those glutes, lift them up, lower them back down with control. You're gonna find a pace and a rhythm that works good for you. And we really wanna tune in to the squeezing of the glutes. So as you lift your butt up, squeeze those glutes together. Pause for a second at the top and then release. Twenty seconds left. And time nicely done. Okay, we're going to keep our legs in that butterfly position. And now we're going to take it into some crunches. So you can choose to load up a weight sideways across your chest and then you might choose to push in or pull out but then we're just adding that crunch so we're pulling the abdominal muscles down towards the spine lifting the chest and chin releasing back down with control if you like working with the breath you're going to exhale as you come up inhale to release back down if this position with the legs has become too much just take it into a bent knee position like you do for your regular crunches. But if it feels okay to be here, you are getting a good stretch in the inner thigh and a little work in the outer edges of the hips, but you just make sure it's sustainable and you feel comfortable. You're already halfway there. Nice work, you guys, beautiful. and time awesome set your weight to the side and now we're going to use our chair just as a little point of reference so if you like feet are going to hover over the chair 
And we're gonna start with just a couple of gentle oblique twists, engaging those oblique muscles. So drop your knees side to side, just to find those obliques, feel them firing up again. But now the real work, let's take one more time each side. And then we're gonna drop the knees over to the right, let them come all the way down. And for the next 30 seconds here, all you gotta do is breathe. Bring your hand to the outside of your thigh, push your thighs down. And then as you find that bit of spinal twist, your left shoulder will drop to the ground, turn your head to the left and just take a couple nice deep breaths here. Ten more seconds. Okay, now we're going to switch over to the other side. So if your hand is on the thigh, lift it up, swing those legs over to the other side, let them come all the way down to the ground. And then once you're there, hand on the thigh, push the thighs down, push your shoulder down, turn your head in the opposite direction of your knees, and then just back to breathing, inhaling a nice big breath, exhaling nice and slow. Fifteen seconds left. And time. Awesome job. Okay, come on up into a high kneel position. And then once you've found your high kneel position, we're going to position ourselves so that we can put our elbows onto the low side of the chair. So get yourself rearranged and then see if you can place your elbows onto the chair. And then you might have to kind of scoot your knees back a little bit. But now we're going to drop the chest down. So hopefully you're going to feel a good stretch up in the shoulders, the armpit chest, maybe in the upper back body, think shoulder blades and, and lats. So you're just going to Notice where in your body you feel a good stretch. Awesome, take one more breath. All right, now soften up a little bit, lift your belly up first. Come up and then we're gonna take a little tendon stretch or a little stretch to the Achilles heel and the calf. So step yourself up so that you can leave your right leg back, left foot's gonna step forward. So think a little lunge, but now we're gonna push into that back heel. Hips are gonna come forward slightly, heart's gonna come forward slightly, but we really wanna engage that heel, pushing the heel down towards the ground, just to the point where you feel a nice good stretch in your calf. And then once you're there, take about three nice deep breaths. These last three stretches are my idea of being a friendly on Friday. So <laughs> just so you know. Okay, switch to the other side. Step your foot back, step your other foot forward, and then push back into that heel. Lift your chest. Once you feel that good stretch, take about three nice deep breaths. Awesome. And then when you're ready, step both feet together to about a comfortable distance where you can just drop your chest down a nice long reach through the arms. So nice little supported down dog here. Take one nice big breath. And then with that bit of distance, soften your legs, reach your hands down towards the ground, let your head hang nice and heavy, and then pull your abdominal muscles and roll up to a standing position, nice and slow and controlled. Shrug out your shoulders. Man, you guys are awesome. Nice work today. Okay, grab your foam roller if you're sticking around and move your chair out of the way.